Hey, uh, this is D Doug and Mike here, and we are testing out our hopeful new Adam Split uh, Drawing Music podcast. Mike, how are you doing this evening? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing? Awesome. Uh, you know, I'm doing all right. I'm recovering from a cold for about two, three weeks, so just in time for allergy season. So I sound a little stuffy. But I feel much better than I did, say, a week or two ago. That's good. Yeah, so... So you are drawing, as we speak, right, on, on your tablet, a page? Yeah. And um, what page number is that? This is, um... 94. Woo! 94. Man. So we're getting deep into the, um... The Vandertramp Saga retell orig Adam Split origin story. Yeah. And we're... Go ahead. Yeah, this is a... I mean, this is pretty close to where we start the final battle, I guess. This is where he challenges a battle of the bands. Or a, right. band, a battle of the bands is challenged. The battle of the bands is challenged. So the action's going to heat up, um, man, and it, we've been working on this one for over a year now. Well, I mean, more than that with writing, but even the, yeah. the, the pace have been over a year. So you'll probably be glad when it's done. Yeah, uh, but, I mean, if we split it up. Um, yeah. But you're trudging through right now. You're not going to split it up right now. No. Yeah, okay. All right, cool. Well, um, I can't see what you're doing. Uh, well, you know, we got to figure out how you can share the screen so I can see at the same time. Maybe not the whole time, but just occasionally. Um, so what else? Today was a big day for me musically because I took my Gibson Les Paul 1960 reissue into the repair shop. Um, because I cracked the headstock on it about 10 years ago. Can you believe that? And it's been sitting in my closet. I don't, it has to be 10 years. I think it was 2007 or 8 when I was writing Master of Mistletoe, the original one, and I was recording the original version, and my Les Paul fell off the stand and the headstock broke. And it's been broken ever since. What, wait, what so, kind of... What kind of what kind of Gibson was it? Les Paul. Uh, Les Paul. Classic. Okay. A 1960 reissue. Um, so I took it to this great place up in Alpharetta, a Roswell line called Righteous Guitars. Have you heard of that by any chance? No. It's a super high-end, cool guitar store, like in kind of like an industrial complex area just between uh, Roswell and Alpharetta. I hadn't been there, but I, I happened to drive by taking my recycling to the Roswell Recycling Center, and then I uh, called them, and they said, yeah, we repair guitars. So I went in there today and took that thing. And let me tell you, man, it's, uh, it's like the Ferrari dealership of guitars in there. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, it's compared to Guitar Center, which is like the Kia dealer. It, it, they, don't, they don't sell anything but super high and guitars and super high end amps, which is cool. No basses, no you know, no, no keyboards, no drums, no, no, nothing like that. No PA systems. So, um, but cool, cool guys, and they're gonna fix my headstock um, in about two, three weeks. So, well, yeah, I've been working on some songs for the for the for the comic and for the band and stuff. So, I wanted to record with my Les Paul, so I took it in. Nice. And yeah. That, and that um is good because one of the uh one the the lead singer plays a, a Les Paul just like that, right? Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So. And 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 the rhythm guitar <laughs> player plays an SG. It gives an SG. In in the new the new the current series. Yeah. So they they both play Gibsons. Yeah. 
Although when they're in the studio, they mix it up a little bit. You got to get different sounds. Well, uh, yeah, but that's 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 the studio. Um. Yeah. So, if you look on the Adam Split Kernel on the website now, you can see the Nucleus Smash version, and they're playing less the green Les Paul and the green greenish reverse SG. So, pretty cool. And Nucleus um, Smash is. The band that's a clone of the original better band, which is Adam Split. Right. So tune into the comic strip to see how it plays out, unless you already know because you're a fan from the original, original, original. <laughs> the original animation. Right. Um, so yeah, so cool stuff there. Um, well, the reason I yeah. asked you about how many people were in there is because, I don't know, have you been, like, reading the news about... How, yes. Yeah, you've been reading the news, so... Yeah. Yeah, about the guitar industry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was wondering that. Um, that's probably why I went in there, was because I figured they need, they need some business. Um, not that a repair job is that much, but, you know... Um. They they seem they had a full uh, collection, so uh, you you got to be you, you you know kids don't go in there anyways. That, that place is for old guys. <laughs> it's for guys who got who who may you know they they've got a job and they've got some some dough to go in there and spend. So I think that I don't know that market is probably still there. Serious musicians. Yeah, serious musicians exactly. Um, but I, I do think that when you go in there and you see, I mean, I have a Les Paul, right, that I've had for, I don't know, 20 years. And, like, there was probably 100 in there. And I'm thinking, I think they flooded the market is really the problem because they just keep making thousands of new guitars every year. And there's not thousands of people or kids um, who, who can take them. And old, you know, guys like me have already have one that's kind of a classic aren't necessarily going to go pay 3000 bucks for a new one. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, now that's that's one side of the story You, I haven't heard is like, you know, there's more supply than there is demand. Well, I mean, that is what they're saying, more supply than there is demand, but not because people don't want to play guitars, it's because... I think it's a... I, right, that's what I thought today when I was in there and I was thinking about it, but... I, I realize that, yeah, there's no guitar heroes and there's no guitar music bands hardly anymore. So the young youngsters, you know, don't necessarily want to go buy a guitar. Um, but I think I think maybe they made too many of them. Then they wouldn't. Be, then Gibson's in a, you know, I don't know, was it declaring bankruptcy or something close to that? If not, so. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's we'll see. And they were in trouble with the government about the type of wood they were using for a while. Uh, uh they were well, they said, I mean, I don't know what it was exactly, but they were using some sort of wood from Madagascar. They said they had a license to use, but the government said they didn't. And there was something huh. about the IRS and uh but it's not just Gibson who's saying, like, guitars are in a decline. It's also Fender. Yeah, yeah. And, uh... Right. It, you know, I mean, like, people, I guess, I don't know, uh, if you, like, I mean, EDM is supposed to be, like, everybody's gonna make EDM from now on, is what, you know, <laughs> that's what they're thinking... Or that's what the doomsayers are saying. But I don't think so. I mean, I think those things like that go in cycles. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, no, I mean, coming from... Com well, I mean, I'm a, I'm a big rock and roll fan, too. You know that. But, um... Yeah. You, just coming from comic books, you, you know, you... Cartoony style comes in for a while, then it leaves, and more serious style comes in, and then that, you know, it, it goes back and forth. Right. So, 
whenever they say like this is the end of the guitar, I don't believe, I don't believe that because there's like young, uh, real young kids like Gre uh, Greta Van Fleet, like they're rocking pretty hard. Yeah. And they're like 16. That's 17. right. You see, I heard some of that. Yeah. So, I don't think the guitar is ever... Oh, your picture went away. Oh, how about this? I'm going to play a new in-progress track. Okay. That's two minutes and... Oh, well, I'm going to play it for a few minutes. So, so what I did was in, in um, February, I participated unofficially in the RPM Challenge, which is where you try to write ten songs in a month. Write and record, which I do. I try to do it every year, and I try to get good out and split songs out of it. So, so I did it, and um, probably got three, maybe four, maybe five good ones out of ten. Um, and uh, I started playing in GarageBand around with recording one for with uh, drum tracks and stuff. So this is a uh, this is a little demo so far. No vocals, just the rhythm, guitar, and bass. So I'm going to let you draw while I play this for a minute. All right. And the audience, this song, this song is going to be called Wreck Wrecking Ball. All right, here it goes. Happy, little, you know, little, not, I don't know if it's really happy, but uh, a little driving little ditty there. Yeah. A little fun, a little fun intro song. So, um, yeah, so that's one of the ten. Um, I actually have lyrics and, and uh, melody and stuff for it, but I'm not ready to re <laughs> release that. Well, yeah, so. it's a work in progress. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so hopefully some of those will can turn into a new EP or something soon. And this isn't the first time you've done the RPM challenge, is it? No, uh, it's maybe the fourth time. I don't know. 
Yeah. I, last year, I did it. The year before, I did not do it. The year before, I did it. And then I did it way back a few years before that. I actually got songs for the for, for soundtrack, the, the, the CD to the... Um, did the animation from from doing it some of the songs yeah came from I mean, pm uh, yeah 2008 or nine or whatever it was yeah I remember uh, it's really amazing that. What's, what's that? that i remember that that you got some some songs that you you've used for the um comic from from that before so yeah so it's a, um, it's a good uh exercise it is a dang good exercise force yourself to Flex the. I know they have the same thing for writers, and I think I know they got something for comics like that. Yeah. Um, so I don't. Even, you know, no one even knows you, that I that you do it. I mean, you can send in your stuff at the end, like, and it can go in a big giant pile somewhere in somebody's basement. But I don't even bother signing up. I just do it on my own nowadays. Yeah. So. Um. So yeah, the remix. Um. Never, never really, really got released because they wouldn't let me do a, a, a single and a b-side on iTunes, iTunes and, and all that so that's, that's partly why that awesome um, DJ Space Needles image didn't get properly pushed out yet because of that because that was gonna be the cover I was gonna do a bunch of promo stuff for it and, and then, then I didn't. Re I thought you could do, you know, like two songs, like a single and a B side, and, and put it out. And I could never get anybody to answer me, so I never finished it. So what I need to do, I'm thinking, is do two more. You gotta have four songs to do an EP officially. You know, that they'll accept. Is, is do a couple more and then put it out with the first two. Gravity will get you remix and the. Uh, what was the other one? The uh, other one, yeah. the um, battery powers. Yeah. yeah. So that's the story with that. But I did put the, the cool image on the e on the music equalizer video and stuff there. It's on the website. So. All right. So and yeah. So you're gonna do, wait. You're not gonna do all remixes. Are you just gonna do those two? And then two new well, songs. Two new songs is re well. I was thinking about doing two new songs as remixes and re and regular remixes, but I don't know. You know, I don't know for sure. What I really like to do is like when the Cure did their remix CD back in whatever year it was. They like did the. In fact, I think for Record Store Day, there's a new one coming out of Cure remixes. Like. He remixed all the all the, the the you know the good old songs and then the good new songs and put them on a one CD called Mixed Up. It was pretty cool. It was one of my favorite CDs. So we'll see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And when we were talking about record making records too for a while, because that yeah because that was yeah records are still hot. Yeah. yeah. But now, that's a possibility too. Now they're saying tapes might be hot again, though. Well, well we, we did we did a little tape. We did we uh -huh. did. It wasn't real though. It, All right. It was a USB. No, no we had we, we had some real tapes, tapes too. At, oh yeah, we did. Oh yeah. 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 But, but people, people just don't have anywhere to play them. People, people don't, don't have anywhere to play a dang CD anymore. anymore. <laughs> that's the thing. I think like um. People now have more record players than CDs. Yeah, yeah right, because you can buy a record player at Target now. Yeah. And records. But you can't buy it. And what what was it, Best Buy got rid of other, or getting rid of all their CDs? Right, yeah. And are they going to replace them with records? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I, you know, I, can't I can't imagine that trend, trend lasting forever, but we'll see. In fact, I, iTunes is going to phase out their album stuff, like buying the enhanced albums and stuff on iTunes. So iTunes is ultimately just wants to sell you streaming. Everybody will, will want that 
except, except for, for the people, people who make, make records. records. You know. So the the musicians. No, no like, like the, the people, people who actually. Play, well, yeah, who press vinyl. Oh. Uh-huh. But, but any of the services, services they, don't, they don't. They don't want even. I mean, there's going to be a point here, probably. It's in two, two years, years, three years, where iTunes doesn't even sell songs, songs anymore. They just, just stream stuff. stuff. Yeah. Like you don't buy. Yeah. You know, like, like 10 years ago, you'd go there and you'd buy an album. album. So that is phasing out. Yeah, I've, I've, I stopped buying and just started going all of Spotify. Yeah, yeah I, I haven't done that completely, completely yet, yet, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting closer with every commercial, commercial I hear. On Spotify because I don't pay for it. So. Well, yeah, I mean, I d- I pay for it because I want you know specific playlists for specific things. Right. Um, and I guess like I want I want streaming to succeed because it's so much easier than it's you know like Netflix. It's so much easier than having. DVDs and CDs and whatever, it's just all yeah. right there, and I, I, I don't know. Like, let's see, it's 120 a year, basically. Yeah. So that's like if if I bought 12 albums. Um, yeah. Right. If I bought more than 12 albums, then it pays for itself. And but I would still buy. I still buy like albums sometimes like if it's somebody i really like like motorhead or acdc right Right. i would i'll buy their albums but but other than that spotify but even further it gives me you know i listen to a lot of classical stuff nowadays and ambient suit soundscape stuff stuff that i would never buy but, but I would I listen, I listen to on streaming, streaming you, know? you know. Yeah. So, so I got gotcha. you. You know, it's, it's valuable, valuable for that, that. and, and um, jazz, jazz and stuff that I would never buy. buy but, it's but it's like listening to good, good stations, stations or playlists or whatever. Or whatever. So, so I might have to do it. But I was I was debating whether to do Apple Music or Spotify since I'm an Apple guy. But you know, they get a lot of my money as it is. Yeah, I tell you what. Well, I. I thought about it too, and um, because I'm a, I do Android, not Apple, uh, Android and um, Windows, and I was thinking yeah. like, I was thinking like, what if Google Music doesn't doesn't work out in the long run, or, you know, yeah. it just turned out that like, everything plays Spotify, like the Xbox, the PlayStation. My phone, right. just everything plays Spotify. So go with the the one thing where you can get it on everything. Right. So that's why yeah. I, I ended up going with Spotify. Got it. Cool. Well, uh, how, how long we've been on here? <laughs>